Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel. What I want to show you in this video is how to take a recording you did in Screencastify and make it where you can show it in PowerPoint. <clears throat> so for instance, what we have here on our screen is this is a recording I did. So it's taking me to the preview page. And to save it, I simply click on Save Disk and I choose Save to Disk. And what it will do is it will save it down here in the bottom. So I've already saved one just recently. So when you come down here to the bottom, uh, a lot of times you're like, where did it put it? So you can simply click on this little arrow and choose show in folder and it will show you where it is. So here's my video screen, untitled screencast seven. And I could right click on it and rename it to something that makes sense. So let's just call it test video. Notice though that it says dot web M. And that's really important because this is the format that the video's in and not everything recognizes that format. PowerPoint, for instance, does not. So if you record in Screencastify and you need to bring it into PowerPoint, then you have another step you need to take. So what you're gonna do is go into We Video and go into one of your you know, projects or create a new project and click on Upload Media and go find that file. Now in this case, this was in my Downloads folder. Here it is, Test Video. So I'm gonna click Open and go ahead and get that loaded up to Wii Video. So depending on how long your video is, you know, it will take more or less time. So in this one here, uh, it only recorded for just a few seconds, so it should go up fairly quickly. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna upload this video, and then we're gonna, once it gets loaded, we're gonna drag it down here onto the main timeline. So it's completed uploading, so all I have to do is find it. Here it is, test video. I'm gonna drag it down here, okay? So now that it's in Wii Video, I can do whatever it is that I need to, you know, for instance, I want to add titles, I want to put text over the top, if I want to come here and add an effect, if I want to scale it, I can do all that kind of stuff. Now, when you're done editing, and this is true with any time you're in Wii Video, so anytime you're in Wii Video or really any video editing program, you need to understand the difference between saving and finishing. So if you simply come up here and click save, which I recommend, you know, you want to save the edits that you've done. What that's doing is it's saving your project file. It's saving all these edits. So if I had a bunch of pictures and text and audio and stuff, it's saving it in this format so I can still come back in and play around with it. Now, <clears throat> that format, though, is not going to be viewable for other people. So what you need to do is once you have all of your edits done is you need to come up here and click on finish. And that's going to take everything that you may have down here on the timeline and put it all together in a single video file. So you come here and you click finish and you're going to need to give it a name. I'll just call it test video. And I'll click set. That's for my name. And then you choose the quality and I'm going to choose 720 because that's a higher uh, quality and you click finish video. And what it will do is it's going to take, like I said, all of your edits and it's going to start piecing them together for a single video file. So it kind of depends on how, you know, how long your video is uh, as to how long this process will take. Now, the video I have, you can see here, my video is only 13 seconds long. And over here, it tells me how long it's going to take to be ready. So my 13 second video would took approximately or is going to take approximately a minute to be ready. If you've got a longer video, you know, it might be 20 or 30 minutes. It might be an hour if you have a really long video. So sometimes you're better, you know, just getting it to this point and then go off and go do something for a while and then come back. So what's going to happen here in just a few minutes, it's going to finish your video like it did. And when it does, you're going to get this option to watch this video. So you click that link and that's going to take you to a preview page. Here's my video that I just made. And it's just a single video file now. So what I can do now is click this download button. And when I do, it's going to save it. Just like Screencastify saved it. You can see my Screencastify right here. So it's going to save the Wii video down here. But notice now it's an MP4 video. MP4 is a standard format that PowerPoint, a lot of other programs will recognize. Now, again, we want to know where it is because I'm not positive where Wii video saved it. So I'm going to click on this little arrow and choose show in folder. And I can see it saved it in my downloads folder. So saved it in the same place. So here I have it, Chris test video MP4. So now what I can do is I can now go to PowerPoint, go to whatever slide I want, click on insert, go to video and choose video on my PC. And then I simply go find that video. And here it is right here, Chris test video MP4. I click insert and there we have it. Now I can resize it so I can scale it if I don't want that video to take up the whole page, maybe just want it over here on the right. 
but I can resize it. I can click play and it's going to show my video, you know, just like it should look. So just remember that if you're using Screencastify, you've got to go through that step where you save it to disk and it's going to put it down here as a WebM file and then go to WeVideo and uh, upload you know, in your project, upload the video, and then make sure you click on finish and go through this process here, which will take you to your final video, and then you download it here. So once you have it downloaded as MP4, you can bring it into PowerPoint or any of the other programs that you may need. So <clears throat> there are tutorials, uh, some others that may be helpful that are in our Blackboard tutorial section. So I have tutorials about Office Mix as well as WeVideo. But don't forget your best resources when you have questions, check Google first. Also check YouTube. Once you've checked those and our tutorials page, then email Ms. McCall or I, but don't do it before then, because otherwise you're just sitting around waiting for us when you probably could have answered your question in just a few seconds. So check those first, then email us and we'll be happy to help you. So hope that helps. If you have any other questions, just let us know. Thank you.